<laughs> so last season, um, Alex learned that uh, her father is still alive. Um, what can you tease about what is coming up for her and how she's dealing with that? Well, I mean, I know that there, that's that's a big mission, obviously, for Alex and and for Hank slash John and um, and for Kara as well to to really try to figure that whole storyline out. We end up learning a lot of like how how deep that rabbit hole goes, and you know, and how much is really involved in it. And, and Project Cadmus is a very bad place, very bad place, and it brings about a lot of big bads that we're going to come into, you know, into contact with in the first, even just in the first few episodes. But obviously, I mean, that's that's a very big goal of hers to find that out in general that he's potentially still alive. And we were always joking, David and I were joking about it, and I kind of just said, like, hashtag, Daddy Gamers ain't dead. <laughs> It was just, so maybe Daddy Gamers ain't dead, so we'll find out, I don't know. Uh, we talked about it with David a little bit, but how is it growing that relationship between the three of you? I think it's such a great relationship. I love show. it. I love it so much. I love those two. They're, they're so fun to work with and, and just, we're, we're in it. You know what I mean? Like, we're just so dedicated to it and just really adamant about telling a great story. You know, with these great characters and they're so well-rounded. And, and it's so much fun for me because Alex originated a great show. There is no Alex Danvers in the comics, and so to be a part of their story as well, it's like it's just a really cool thing to, to do, and kind of, I guess we like Supergirl, <laughs> Martian Manhunter, it's just really cool. Yeah, I, I love the balance between the three of them, and, and that they get to really work together, and all the different elements that they bring, you know, and Alex, she doesn't have superpowers, but she's still powerful, and she's yeah. still, she can still hang. There's also like a lot of tension, right? Uh, the biggest moment when you It's great, actually. Uh, and it seems like things have been a little bit, but it's just a lot of tension. Yeah, I mean, I mean those, those things, I mean, I so much about it is, yes, there's difficulty with family, yes, you can run into those kind of things, but, but it's always family first. And, I mean, that's a personal thing for me as well, so I think, you know, and I love listening with all of my heart, so for us it's very, there's a, it's very natural to do a lot of this, but even in those Red Crypt and I've seen scenes where, we're, where our characters are a little, you know, not rivalry, but where they're fighting a little bit, it's, it's, it's all, it's hard. It really is hard. You know, because I do feel like legitimately like she is a sister. But I love the fact that we're on a show that shows that family isn't perfect, but you fight for each other and you work for each other and you grow. And they grew, they grew together last season, and that's what's just going to continue to happen. Can you tell us about something about your character that's going to surprise us? Oh, there's lots of surprises. <laughs> I can't tell you. About <laughs> For, for Alex, you know, the group effort for the, for the group journey for her is obviously with the Project Cadmus thing and trying to find out about her dad. But for Alex, it's kind of fun because you're going to get to see more about who she is as an individual and more about her life. And so much was obviously dedicated to Lutex and Laura and, and just really being that motherly figure in a sense for her. But now we get to kind of see really where Alex came from and her life outside of the DVD because she doesn't really have one. It's really like she just goes to the cave and then she goes to wherever her apartment is. I don't know where she lives. If we're joking about it, it's like maybe she has like a room downstairs and like lives in some creepy house next door or something. We don't know. But we'll, we'll get to see more of that. But well, yeah. Oh yeah, well it's an honor. They're iconic. I mean, it's, it's an honor to be a part of that. That legacy it really is, you know, and, and to have them come on board. And I mean, Melissa's next to mine, she's going to be 